And welcome back to RimWorld, where uh, we're down a person, because Snugglepuff died of a heart attack. Just out of the bloom, 59 had a heart attack. So we're getting rid of their clothes, putting them back down here. I know we needed the clothes, we couldn't just bury them with them. <laughs> we got Walker in here, I decided we'd better get these bigger rooms because of the happy points they get for having them. Uh, we could actually do some other stuff that I find is really useful in that. We're going to put some things in here, because just like our prisoner, our people, they don't like eating off of the floor. So we're going to go ahead and um, put a table and chairs in there. And then we should try to do some kind of power so that they can um, have some lighting in there. Because they don't like sitting in the dark either. So let's just go ahead for right now. We'll set up a solar panel. Um, yeah, we'll set it up right out here. That way we can hook a power have it go right through there. So we got food coming. Uh, it's just getting everything set up. We're waiting on the blocks, which I think was Pygo's job, but right now he's trying to haul everything for us. Dawn is delivering food to Walker. DJ is going to go cook some fine meals, but I want this last bit of clothes hauled in first, DJ. And there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and check the priorities again. Let's see. Crafting, yeah, Pygo and DJ. And DJ's cooking. I actually reduced the food. I had to like 25, 25. And then I changed one of them. Actually, do we really need that much fine meals? Probably not. Let's bump that down to like 10. There's only a few of us for right now. We can do that. Got plenty of other foods. So let's go ahead and set up... Um, we need to get some buildings going. So let's go ahead and change that to a 2. And then if you're not crafting, then you can haul. That sounds a lot better. So let's go ahead and go ahead and have you start crafting some blocks. It's rice. We got plenty of food. It's not going to go bad that quickly, I don't think. Yeah, it's just starting to go. And as soon as you turn into food, it resets itself pretty much. Oh, yeah. Other than that little, in, you know, <laughs> little thing where we had the manpower coming and now we lost one of our manpowers. It's kind of a pain, but let's get these blocks going. We can get some more structures built. Uh, do we have steel? Yeah, we have 519 steel for the doors. And then we've got this already cordoned out. Um, all we have to do now is start with the power. So, for the power, let's go ahead and just do some solar panels. Not enough components. Do we have more components sitting around here? We should. There's a bunch of pigs up there. The rain is kind of hard to... Oh, there we have a bunch of components. We got seven components sitting there. Why have we not picked those up? Do I have not a spot for components? I think I got rid of it. Uh, no. I made a new one, I thought. Stockpile. Let's see. Manufactured components. And it's set to critical. Just we have we have so lack a few people that we don't have them hauled in yet. All right, in the morning somebody's gonna go do that before they eat food. <laughs> Get those hauled in. Is there any more? Because that's only seven. We're gonna need quite a few for these doors. I mean, maybe we shouldn't do the auto doors. Steel door, steel door, steel door, steel door. I guess I didn't do auto doors. I just did regular doors. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I was trying to make the solar panels. Three. All right. I know there's more around here. We'll have to go look in the morning. This rain makes it kind of hard to see. Let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit. What's Walker doing? Yeah, we get that going. That would probably be good. Because the happier our prisoners are, the more likely they are to join us. It gives us a little extra boost that we need. See, right now he got quite a few. That's because we talk to him so much. Like, I don't want to have to sit there and talk to them this long. Uh, convinced by Warden 30 times. <laughs> That's why he's got so much happy points. Extremely low expectations. Night out at night, so he's got that extra bonus. Wearing worn our clothes in the darkness. So we get rid of negative 3 there. Eight off uh, without a table, we can fix that. Before, imprisoned, we can't fix. Cramped environment, we can't fix. Slept in the cold, we could do if we throw a heater in there. And feeling bad. So we could get at least a few more points, which could help, especially in the beginning, speed the process up of getting them happy before we try to convince them. Alright, as soon as somebody wakes up. Okay, Dawn, I want you to go get the components. 
And then I want DJ to go get the steel. Might as well do it as a group in case something happens. I mean, 30 steel sitting out there. Oh, we got more components over here. And that's a hair. Okay, let's slow it down again. So, Don, I want you to go grab those two. Can you maybe do that? No, apparently they're just too far away to grab both of them at the same time. That's fine. Get Pygo to go out there and get those other ones in. Sometimes if they're close enough, they'll grab both of them, but they're just too far away. Because they can haul them. Now, is there any more? <laughs> like, I have to look now to see if there's any more components just laying around that we may be deconstructed and they just never picked up. I'm, oh, they are right down there. There's some. Alright, as soon as Pi goes there. Don's going to go try attempting one more time. DJ is cooking a fine meal. I want you to go get these components as well. we got to get all this stuff inside. There's eight components just lying there waiting to be picked up. H-Bomber, I'm going to have you go hunting today. We could probably use a little bit more meat. We can go sell it later. Give you something to do. Orders. Hunt. Something you're not going to shoot at somebody. Could do a boomalope. It's raining. Might as well. Go get that boomalope. And then Pygo. Now go get these. So we've got the components being picked up. Let's go ahead and pick up that steel. I don't have to keep my eye. Ah, there's another one. But we'll leave it until I know that they're going to pick them up. There's a bunch of steel down here, too. Next to all those bears. Wait a second. Is that bear dead? <gasps> it is dead! What the heck happened to it? Oh, it died of an infection. Oh, I think I remember that one. Alright. Um, DJ, as soon as you go do that, go pick up that bear, since you're the cook. No. Go get this now. That's so lucky. Okay. I mean, it's unlucky for the bear, because it died from a tortoise attack. <laughs> the tortoise got it in the end. Slowly but steadily, it died. Uh, where's H-Bomber? I know he's up here shooting. Did he actually get it? He did. Sweet. Oh, it was a boom rat. That's right. The female is like different colors now, I think. Or did they make them all stuff red? Oh, I think they changed the colors. That's all. All right. So we got that. Do we want to go after some more stuff while we're out here? Might as well. There's a squirrel down there. Go shoot that boar if you want. Should be pretty safe there. Anything else that maybe will explode and save us some time if it's raining? Tons of boar up there. I think that's about it. Oh, there's another one. But if they're rats, they're not worth it, really. Um, they don't give us much stuff as the boomalopes do. Some deer up there we could go after. There's a lot of boom rats. Oh, there's a bunch of steel over here. If somebody's willing to go get that, that'd be great. Okay, I think that's about it. Oh! What is this? An explosive expert named Duncan Fergie Ferguson calls you from nearby. He is being chased by pirates from the Riflemen. He begs for safety and offers to join your colony. Biologically, he is 28 years old. He warned you, or be warned, if you accept, you'll have to fight off the pirates on his tail. Oh, we need people, but we have to be prepared to fight off these guys. Um, explosives expert. Offer safety. All right, Fergie, what do you have to offer? Uh, let's put that at that. Now we got a new person, at least. Character-wise... You are incapable of dumb labor, so that's going to be bad. You can't, to, well, you can construct, you just can't haul. Dang it, you're slowpoke and you're psychically sensitive. Uh, but we got good research, good mining, growing, medicine, uh, a little bit of animals, and you've got some shooting. Did you come with a gun? Did you not? You came with just a jacket and pants. You came with the clothes off your back. Could you, by chance, while you're out here, grab those components? Fergie's not a hauler, that's right, because you're incapable of dumb labor. Never mind. So we gotta defend against some pirates. At least I know where there's more components. <laughs> Dawn failed, okay. H-bomber. There's no time for that. We need to get set up here. So you get down here. Dawn, get down over here. Animals will go into... 
animal zone. The bear is so big. So big. I wish we could get a bear. That'd be pretty sweet. And then you might as well finish those. And then let's go ahead and we're being attacked. I'm going to put you with your survival rifle probably out here. Just depends where these guys come from. A group of pirates from the riflemen have arrived nearby. They are attacking immediately. What do we have to deal with? We've got f uh, EMP grenades, which I'm not too worried about. Frag grenades can be nasty if you don't run. We've got somebody with a shiv, somebody with a shoddy pistol, and we've got somebody with a pump shotgun port. So pretty close range. I think we can do this. Do I have an extra gun for you, Fergie? Um... I do have a... Sh I'll give you a pistol. Since they're so close range, we might as well give them a little bit of an edge. Now let's go find out where these guys are going to come in after. Attacking steel door. Attacking vent. Attacking cooler. Igniting vent. Melee and attacking... Door. Where the heck is all my vents and stuff? At? Oh, they're going to go after those. So either they're going to try to go through here or they're going to go around. Oh, there they are. Okay. Let's go ahead and get you... Um... Out here. H-bomber. Okay. Go ahead and do that. DJ. Get in that door. H-bomber, get up there with that rifle. Oh, I heard a grenade. Get up there by that cover. Oh, we got a hole in the wall. There's a hole in the wall now. Um, go ahead inside that doorway. Now I want you to come over here next to those blocks. And I want you to come outside there real quick. Get that guy. Got him. I didn't want that grenade going off. They blew up so much stuff. <laughs> Holy cow. The sandbags, my turret got blown up. All oh, this wall got blown up. Alright. Um, I want you to go after these people like nuts. DJ, go ahead. Melee attack that person. Fergie, go ahead and melee attack that person. Is that the only two that survived? It looks like it. They're dead, they're dead, and they're dead. Okay. And then H-Bomber, I want you to go after that person. Wait, no. Melee attack. Pygo. We got some injuries, but I don't think they're going to be really bad. Let's see if I can get more prisoners, at least. If not, they're gear since they blew up a giant hole in my base. Goodness sakes. I think we can catch at least one of them. That guy didn't get any injuries on him. So I don't think we're going to be able to catch him. He's too quick. Go ahead and uh, fire at him. Don't go there. Oh, no. These are gone. Okay. And of course you killed that person. That's fine. Go ahead and strip. Uh, take. Take. And then go ahead and take. Now... We need to heal some people. Let's go ahead and say medical bed for that. How bad is Fergie actually? Bruised. So yeah, no medicine. Just go sleep. H bomber. Bruised. A gunshot from a pistol. That's not horrible, but we can patch you up probably with a bandage. I have herbal medicines, right? I've got quite a few. And then we've got DJ, who's really, really bad. Health, um... Oh my goodness, yeah. Gunshot from a pump shotgun. Let's go ahead and put you there, and let's use medicine on you. So yeah, go ahead and rest until healed. And then we've got Pygo, who's gonna go eat. <laughs> he's just got a bruise, so he's good. So, no medicine for that. Okay. Holy cow, that was crazy rough. Um, strip. Strip. And strip. At least we got some clothes. Got some grenades. More EMP grenades. We can sell those. Blew up my turret, darn it. 
All right. So, who's our best doctor? Don't tell me it's DJ. It is DJ. Pygo's got six. Dawn has nine. All right, Dawn. Get down here to go patch up DJ real quick. No, no, go to sleep. You need to get patched up really, really quickly. Okay. Go ahead and... No, Fergie, don't... Don't do it, Fergie. I have to change you. Okay. Go ahead, prioritize... No. Already doctoring DJ. Okay, good. What are you... What are you feeding them for? I said heal them. Health. Medicine. Yes. Alright, feed them and then heal them. <laughs> There's so much stuff going on. Look at all this stuff. Alright, let's go ahead and set up you for your sleeping hours. So you gotta go work all this time. And then you're gonna have joy during that time. And then for restrictions, our work. Uh, switching. Switching. Doctoring. You do you have 10 doctoring. I should have maybe left you. I didn't realize you had 10. I'm sorry. Sorry, I messed up. Go ahead and make you a doctor. You're still a backup doctor. Warden. Can you warden? No, you cannot warden. You don't want to cook. Um, don't need to hunt. You might as well construct. If you're not doing anything. Oh, you can craft. We need a crafter. More often than not, since these guys are construct. You could go ahead and do that too. And then that, and then I'm gonna make you a miner too, and then that's about it. Growing, we need another grower. So if you're not crafting blocks, I want you to go mining, and if you're not mining, then they want you to grow. That works pretty good. Research, how's your research? Twelve. You're actually a really good researcher. Okay, so we'll get rid of that for you, and then we'll bump that up to two. We'll bump that up to one, since I have nothing to research right now. So I should have used that, but I didn't think about it. Where are you going again? Consuming five meal. I need somebody to... Alright, Fergie. You're going to do it. I thought it said treating. Go treat them. We got bodies galore to go bury. And we got a hole in our walls. Giant hole in the walls. Now let's double check these people. Um, Don's going to go treat you. You don't need medicine because it was just a bruise. And same with you. You just had a bruise, right? Yeah. Double check everybody. And you didn't get anything because you were inside with your pump shotgun. Protecting the animals. Animals, you can now go uh, home and pasture if you want. Okay. Good. How did that happen? Good. A liver. Oh, yeah. The gunshot to the liver. We got super good patched on. Oh, no! <laughs> I just noticed this. DJ's hand got shot off. His right hand. Oh, man. Oh, man. Alright, um... I have no idea. There's Bayana cans. That's all I can think of. There's a mad animal, and I have still a hole in my house. A local bloom... Oh, shoot. Bloom rat has gone wild. It will attack any of everyone it sees. Jump to location. H-Bomber, I'm going to have you go shoot that real quick. So we need to go patch this up, too. There's so much stuff that went wrong there. Let's go ahead and use some blocks, since I got them. And uh, these weren't very durable. And then, H-Bomber, uh, I want you to go out here. Go deal with that bloom rat. Is it not? Oh, it's going to go around, of course. I go over here. I go, you might have to go tail with it too. I want to get rid of it while it's raining and it goes inside and destroys everything. It went inside! Oh man, okay. Um, melee attack. Probably a bad idea. Melee attack. It's going to go after DJ. DJ, run. You don't have a hand. Get it outside again. Just run, dude. Just run. Run. Okay. 
Now go rest. Did, did they not blow up when they die? Oh, it's in shock. Okay. You guys come over here. And then wait for, um... Yeah, there we go. Now shoot it. <laughs> Seriously, the stuff. There it goes. Now I'll let the rain go and do its thing. There we go. Holy cow. This is just a crazy day today. Bloom rats are gonna kill us. I got attacked. We got one person. Is I don't know the very best or not. Um, H bomber sleeping there. Why didn't you go sleep up there, Fergie? Whatever. Whatever. Said owner to Fergie, you need to sleep inside there, bro. Uh, it's just not. It's one of those days, guys. It's just one of those days. We got blocks though. All right, we get the blocks. We'll patch up this base, and then we can start working. Get rid of the dead bodies and the food and the weapons. It's fine. It's Rimworld. This stuff happens. I just don't know what we can do for you. I can maybe give you. Um, right hand. Install peg legs. That won't work. Harvest heart. Harvest lungs. Harvest liver. Euthanize. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So I can't give you... Oh, you got scratched. It's fine. Let's go ahead and set that because you're probably going to get fixed in the morning. Um, just a herbal medicine. Like, the only thing we can do right now is leave you with the one hand. You can still shoot. You can do still do stuff. You're just not very efficient. Um, and we'll have to get a bionic hand. That's the only thing I can do. You can replace the legs with peg legs, as you saw there, but you can't do much without a hand. <laughs> And there's rains and there's lightning. This is terrifying right now. Alright, good. He's all healed again. We'll get this all picked up. Um, let's get these people all stripped. He's still cooking pretty quickly. Repairing all the sandbags. Yeah, we got messed up. Could you maybe strip that one? Strip that one. Actually, H bomber can do that too. Okay. And then we'll need to yeah strip that one. And then we'll haul these people off. We got some stuff now. Where are you going with the body? I'm gonna turn that off. We don't need to throw them all the way up there. Corpses. Uh, human. Don't throw them in there. Let's just keep throwing them in the graves. Miscellaneous grave. Two, three. Now that they're all stripped. Wait, no, we need four. Killed a lot of people here. <laughs> Hauling wild boar that's dead. Okay, go ahead and haul that. Man, we still get these rooms trying to get them constructed. At least we got another grower. I think we only had one really for a while there. And um, in fact, let's go ahead and cancel these bills. I just well, we'll suspend them. We need to get more stuff going. Like hauling good. Pygo, haul all those clothes in. No. <laughs> A group of pirates from the Shiv Ravens have arrived in drop pods nearby. They were prepared for a while, then attacked. Prepare a defense and then <sighs> attack them preemptively. Okay, I need you to go ahead and work on these. And then we need to get um, another turret built. Okay, where did they land? Way over here. Way up north here. Okay, what do they have? They've got a pump shotgun. They got a survival rifle, a uh, good pump shotgun by the way. Oh, look at this, and a normal sniper rifle. Nice. Okay, so we got two ranged guys. Um, I think we'll let them come to us, and then we'll activate the turrets and let them deal with them. I think the turret will be fine. Animals need to get back inside again. And then, Fergie. Work on those walls. Prioritize, get those walls done. 
Let's actually make this. I'm tired of Pico hauling stuff so much. Why are you not? Oh, construct. There we go. We need to make that a little bit higher priority for our only builder at the moment. Don, where are you going? Going for a walk. No. No time for walks. Get inside, actually. Pygo, no! No time for naps. There's people going to try to kill us. Playing horseshoes. H-bomber, you go up there. I don't have time for this, guys. Fergie is cloud watching. No, Fergie. I need you to prioritize. And Pygo, I need you to prioritize. At least get this turret, because cold snap. Oh, man. I think our plants will be fine. Unusual cold snap is set in. Watch out for hypothermia and di dying plants. We have tons of food. I think we'll be fine for now. Pygo, no. Finish. And then Fergie's going to go play horseshoes. That's fine. Okay. Shiv Ravens are coming. Now where are they going to come? Please tell them to come after my turrets. Igniting vents. Melee attacking steel door. And igniting vents. So they're going to be coming this way. So I'll leave H-Bomber up there. We'll go ahead and get Dawn to stay by this door so you can surprise them. Um, Fergie, I want you to go over here too. And DJ, I want you to go and prioritize that turret. I need it done, sir. DJ, hold. If we get that turret done, that could help us. They don't have explosives this time. You need to do it quicker! Okay, get inside, get inside, get inside, get inside. There we go. Let the turret do some damage. I know it costs components, but I think I can make them in the future. Okay, that one's down. Let's go ahead and go ahead and pop you out since that one's way over there. And then let's go ahead and pop out uh, Pygo. Oh my goodness, go behind that one. Turret still shooting there. Sweet. Oh, that was close. Okay, good. We got him. I. Oh man. If you guys could get that last one, that'd be sweet. So we got um, strip more people. We got a new pump shotgun at least. I just want that rifle. It's a good rifle. Okay. Go for it. See if you can get him. No, he's gone. Darn it. We need more turrets. Holy cow, we've killed so many people. Okay, we need another grave now too. Da, 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 da. At least we should be getting some gear and hopefully some more clothing for our people since it's going to be cold. Yeah, it's uh, 28 degrees. We need to get this base set up properly. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to heat everything up. So much stuff to do! Keep getting interrupted. <laughs> At least the turret did well. Let's go ahead and uh, turn that off for now. Holy cow. Animals. Go back out to doing their things. Ah, uh, nice and cool. Relaxing. Okay, we get everything hauled in. Get those finished up. Very nice. Chunk of spacecraft has fallen. Ooh, nearby. Oh, nice. That's not too far away. That's a lot of chunks, too. So we'll leave those because we have 20 components. That way I know them to be going ahead. We need to get some graves built, guys. All these dead bodies are going to start freaking people out. DJ is sleeping on the floor. Do I not have enough beds? Let's go ahead and make that uh, non-medical. Go ahead and go sleep, dude. Okay, these guys are going. I wish you could construct. Well, you can construct. Go ahead and go construct these graves. Pygo's getting this all done so we can get the power going through.
You're still awake, so you might as well do this stuff. And we're all out of time. Very last second. So I'm going to go ahead and get these graves going. <laughs> we got clothes up the wazoo. I wish we got a trader so we could get some more weapons. Some better weapons. Some more clothes. Um, maybe some glitter world and a bionic hand or something for our DJ. Other than that, we, we survived. We didn't lose anybody else today. <laughs> so much death and destruction everywhere. But I will see you guys next time.